Solving for x means I want to find the value of x which makes it true. So you'll notice here that I have an x in two different places. So algebraically, what would make this much easier is if I only had an x in one place. Fortunately, algebra allows us to do that by bringing all our x's to one side. So for example, uh, to get rid of the 5x over here, I can subtract that 5x from here. And that's going to get rid of all my x's on that side of the equation. But to balance it, I also need to subtract 5x over here. And that's going to leave me with uh, 3x minus 5x is going to be negative 2x. Then I have the plus 7. That didn't change. And that's going to be equal to just negative 23 because the 5x and the minus 5x canceled. So now I can solve this as a two-step equation. To get x by itself, I want to take away the plus 7, which I do by subtracting 7 on both sides. And that's going to give me negative 2x. The 7's cancel is equal to negative 23 minus 7, which is negative 30. Finally, to get the x it's by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Divided by negative 2 on the left cancels. Negative 2 over negative 2 is equal to 1, and 1 times x is just x. So we know that x is going to be equivalent to negative 30 over negative 2. Dividing uh, two negatives is going to result in a positive, specifically positive 15. So I'm proposing that my answer is a positive 15. I'm now going to check to see that 15 was correct by plugging it in to both of my x's up here. And I want to make sure that that is indeed equal. Well, on the left side, 3 times 15 is 45. And we have 45 plus 7, which is going to be 52. Let's see if we get the same thing on the other side. 5 times 15 is 75, and 75 minus 23, yep, that is going to equal 52 as well, so it checks out. And we have shown that x equals 15 is the solution to this equation. In other words, it's the value of the variable x which makes it true. Thank you.